dark when you leave here and you wouldn't want to end up getting into the wrong bed now, would you? Half an hour's drive from the campsite is the Jersey Pottery. It's free to look around and watch the experts at work. But for a small fee, you can have a go at glazing your own pot. Don't even think about coming for a close up of this. That is a pot. Now that looks much nicer than mine. What are you doing? Um, I'm sponging it down to make like a thicker paint. Lovely. Just up the road from the pottery is Jersey Zoo. Set up by the author and naturalist Gerald Durrell who lived here, it acts as a refuge for endangered species from all over the world. There are seven keeper talks per day to choose from. Basically, you pick an animal you want to learn more about and you turn up at the right time. It's 12 o'clock, so that means lunchtime for the orangutans. The magnificent fellow who's just retrieved his bag of food is called Dagu. He's the mature male of the group. This is signified by those incredible flanges, his cheek flaps, which to a female orangutan make him look absolutely irresistible. Most of the food that animals are fed is organic, very healthy. However, I think these guys have got their eyes on my packed lunch. Oyster sandwiches, my favorite. Seven nights staying in a fixed tent at Rose Farm campsite cost from £154 per person this June. That's based on two adults sharing, with up to four children aged under 12 going free. The price includes a return ferry crossing with one car from Weymouth to St Helier. In August, the same holiday costs from £199 per adult, and it's £29 for each child aged between 4 and 11. Children under 4 go free. Details of all the holidays featured tonight can be found on CFAX page 618. The next holiday on a shoestring is moving to this Sunday evening at 6.30 when I'm getting off the beaten track in Andalusia, southern Spain. <laughs> Matt Allwright's on a mission to half the price of a typical city break. Berlin, full marks. Get it? Claudia Winkleman's exploring Carmarthenshire in South Wales. And fancy a break on a Kenyan beach for under £500? See you Sunday. For more information on budget travel and a free travel essentials booklet, log on to bbc.co.uk slash essentials. Fury that forged a nation. The spark that destroyed a city. The great stories of British history on television online. Simon Sharma's A History of Britain returns tonight at 9, BBC Two. You and Jessica are the perfect couple. Glasses. With your nice house. Oh. And you're perfect kids. We find if they're not in bed by seven, they get really tired. Shout at that. From the creators of Men Behaving Badly, The Savages. Tonight at 9 on BBC One. Under pressure, understaffed and battling with a deadly disease. BBC One at Holby City in half an hour. In Holby City tonight. Get away from me! As one door closes, another door opens. If you feel like losing track of time tonight, you know where to find me. But will Guy take no for an answer? Victoria? Holby City, next on BBC One. Join Dale Winton on Saturday night for exclusive performances from Lionel Richie, Meyer and Lisa Stansfield. Another star-studded night. There's the National Lottery and Thunderball draws live, plus the Lottery Extra draw has a guaranteed jackpot of £20 million. The National Lottery stars, Saturday at 7.35 on BBC One. Tonight at 10, June the 7th it is, and the politicians are off and running, but will the voters catch election fever too? Even as the Prime Minister went to see the Queen, the parties were wasting no time in starting their campaigns. But what are they selling, and how will they sell it? Join me for full coverage at 10. It could be you. 
It could be your mother, your brother, or even your granny. You feel anger, panic, lethargy. You can't get out of bed. You're hooked. But the drugs you're taking haven't come from the street. They've come from your doctor. Panorama asks, is it acceptable that in Britain today, over a million people are hooked on tranquilizers? Returning with a new series, Panorama, exposing the truth, Sunday at 10.20 on BBC One. A moral choice and the pressure's on. Strong emotions on BBC One at Holby.